Kellen, how bomb was today for you? How are you feeling? Oh, I feel fantastic. You know, I uh, went into this race wanting to kind of redeem myself from Boston, and I think that I set pretty lofty goals, and my goal was to break the course record. Um, and I think on a great day that I could do that. I thought that on a great day I could do that, and you know, to go and do that and do it by over two minutes. I think it was a, a pretty great day, so I'm very, very pleased. <laughs> um, I know at Boston the weather was an issue. How about today? Oh, the weather was great. <laughs> um, you know, I think we all went into the race kind of not knowing what to expect because it had been fluctuating so much um, throughout the week. And then, you know, race day came, and I don't know if we could have asked for a whole lot better weather. Uh, you're the first American in nine years, I believe, um, women to win. I mean. That's got to say something for your training and how you must be feeling right now. Yeah, I mean, I think that American marathoning has really taken a step up. Um, you know, I think that we just kind of elevated ourselves to a different level. And uh, for myself, I think that I've been kind of, you know, dabbling in this, I mean, maybe not 224 range, but 226 range for a while, and I just hadn't hit it. Um, but I felt that I was capable of it for... A quite quite a while, and it felt kind of nice to actually go out there and I don't know get some validation. What? I can't do it. Sorry. What emotions are you feeling? Um, I don't I don't know if it's really hit me, um, but you know I'm obviously super excited and relieved in a sense because you know I had Boston and being a marathoner, you only get two maybe three if you're lucky a year. And to have one, to do one and not even finish it is kind of like, well, you know, there goes half your year. Um, so it was really nice to be able to have this one on my schedule so, so soon after Boston and then have it go so well. Talk about the race. When did you uh, kind of separate from the pack? Um, that's a great question. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, maybe like 15 or 16. That I could be wrong with that, but you don't have eyes behind the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a definite like point where it did separate. I just don't recall when exactly that was. But you felt like you were running alone for a while. I w actually wasn't alone for a lot of the race because there were a couple of gentlemen that were running like <laughs> five thirty or like slightly faster, and I was like, I don't know where these guys are pacers or what. Um, but I don't know, I think they just were out there trying to run 5.30 and, you know, we kind of latched on and ended up being a little bit faster than what I had originally wanted to run or what my goal pace was. And uh, I thought that, you know, it would be better to latch on and hang with those guys than to be back running by myself. When did you know you had it? Um, I think that there was a pretty big separation between me and the next woman. But in terms of like the course record, um, I felt pretty confident going into like mile 22, 23 that I would get it, like barring disaster, you know, because I had a lot of cushion time. So going into those last few miles, it felt pretty good. Well, suppose after Boston, you're not taking any chances, right? You, you don't kind of, is that ever in the, still in the back of your mind? In Boston? Yeah. Um, you know, I looked, I kind of looked at Boston as a, a reason to redeem myself and kind of prove myself. Um, I think that you can say like you're a 225 or 226 marathon, marathon or all day, but unless you actually do it, you're not. Um, so to go out and like actually do it, you know, now I can say like I'm a 224 marathon. When you cross that finish line, was anything going through your mind? I haven't done it myself. Walk me through that. Um, for me, I think that it was like, it was, it was just, it was like, finally, thank you. Like, 
you know, like my training, we're doing the right things, you know, and it's just kind of hitting your body on a good day. And I think that you train for that, like every time you go out and you practice, um, but still you can go into the race and, you know, for whatever reason, your body doesn't fully cooperate. And I think that today, you know, things just kind of came together and I was able to show my fitness and what I am capable of. Did you have any strategy how to run this race, knowing who your rivals will be? Um, I didn't really have a strategy per se. Um, I kind of wanted to stay like within myself. I didn't really, <laughs> but <laughs> that was kind of the original game plan was to like run 532 to 5 like 42. You know, kind of have a range and not be too set on running one specific time and. The way that it just kind of ended up was we all kind of ended up being in a big pack for quite a while and I tried to just focus on what I was doing and not necessarily what everybody else was doing. I know that it was a, I knew that it was a very talented field and there were a lot of fantastic women in it, um, but I didn't want to base my performance off of what they were doing. Uh, Kip too likes to start fast. She never broke away out in front. No one was ever ahead of you, really? No, I think that we were all pretty much together for most of the right, or for, you know, those 15 or 16 miles, um, but we were also going a little bit. You know, we weren't running like 535, 536, we were running like 530, 528, like kind of in that range. I understand this is your first Grand Mass Marathon. What did you think of the course? Oh, I love the course. I thought it was a really fun course. Um, you know, and I, I don't, I love courses that have people like all over it but for me I also love courses where it's kind of spread out a little bit more I don't know I think something just about the solidarity of it um, kind of just makes me think of like a training run and I feel like it takes a lot of pressure off of you um, but there are definitely some fantastic spots and like coming into the finish there were so many people and it was like it was exciting. What does this do for your career? <coughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Um, you know, I hopefully that hopefully it uh, makes people just kind of like see what I think that I've I've seen in myself, and I think that my coach has seen. And like, I don't know. I hope they see like I'm a contender. I'm somebody that could like contend for a spot in 2020. What about your confidence? I'm a pretty confident person when it comes to my running, um, even if I don't have like necessarily the results to prove it, um, but it certainly helps, you know, it helps to have something that is like, this is the time you can do it, you did it, so yeah, it's, it's good to have that, it's really nice. You so, cross the finish line, you pause for a couple minutes, how were you feeling? Well, I uh, <laughs> got rid of my coffee, so I wasn't feeling fantastic um, in that sense, but you know, overall my body felt pretty good. I think it is probably the strongest that I felt finishing a marathon, so that's a pretty nice feeling. You know, knowing that maybe if somebody had been beside me and we'd been challenging for like the last couple miles, I could have had a little bit left in the tank to push even a little bit harder. When you said 2020 Olympics, championships, what what are you referring to? What are, you, what are your hopes? Um, well, you know, the goal is to make the Olympic team. So, I mean, like I said before, the American marathoning has really just taken a step up. And I think in order to make that team, you're going to have to run darn fast. So, um, I think that this, a 224 definitely puts me on the map. Talk about the crowd and just what does that do for a runner as you get closer and closer and the crowd gets bigger and bigger. What does that do for a runner's motivation? <laughs> oh, it's so electric. I mean, you just you feed off of the energy that the people are giving. Um, you know, I think that coming into the, the last couple of miles, you want nothing more than to like have those people pushing you to go faster and faster when your body doesn't really want to. Um, and that's exactly what I got today, so it was really nice and encouraging. I think we're good. Congratulations. <laughs> now go celebrate. <laughs>